Hey, if you want to know how to program a respawn system for your video game, stay tuned. Here we are in Unity where I have prepared a player who can take damage from this enemy here. If you want to learn anything from the animations to the player's movement and the damage mechanics just take a look around my channel. Alright but now let us start with the respawn system and for that I have drawn this simple flagpole sprite which I drag here into the folders. Then click on the sprite, select sprite mode 2D, multiple and slice it in the sprite editor. After that just put it together in the scene. Alright, now create a new script which I'll name Respawn System. And now in here create these four variables. Player Detector is a transform which will contain the position of our respawn point. Player Mask is a layer mask which we will use to find the player. Detect Radius is a float which will set the range in which the spawn point is accessible. And Flag is a game object which will be the small flag of my flag pole. Now then go into the update function and create an if statement in which we will use the physics2d.overlapsphere function which searches a game object of a specific layer mask in a certain radius. And if the player was found, the flag should be set to active or in other words the flag on the flagpole should appear. Alright now create a second script which I name respawn handler. In here we create these two variables. Current respawn chords is a vector free and will contain the current coordinations where the player should respawn after dying and current respawn point is a game object which will be the active respawn point. Now delete the update method and create a new public one which I name set respawn point which we want to receive a vector free value and a game object when called. In here we simply set the current respawn calls to the coordinations which were given to the function when the function was called and set the current respawn point to the checkpoint which was given to the function when the function got called. Alright, now go back into the respawn point script and create a reference to the respawn handler script because we now want to call the set respawn point function of the handler script inside the if statement. And as values to send over to the function we use the transform the position of this game object, so the respawn point, and this game object itself. Now go into your script which handles the player's health and also create a reference to the handler. After that create a respawn method which will fill up the health of the player and set the player's position to the current respawn chords out of the handler script and then invoke this method when your player has no health left. There's only one very important step left so stay patient. And that is to set the start respawn position of the player. And in order to do that go into the handler script, create a public game object and set the current respawn chords in the start function to the player's position. By doing this we save the position where the player starts level and set that as the first respawn point. And BAM! We are done with coding, so let's go back into the scene where we will break all the references in. Drag in the flag and deactivate it. Choose the right layer mask and also give the player this layer mask if he doesn't still have one. And lastly, create an empty game object as the spawn point detector as a child of the spawn point. And now all that is left to do is to test this. If your player dies without touching the respawn point, he respawns at the starting position. And if you walk into the flagpole, the flag appears and the new respawn point gets saved. So that if the player now dies, he will respawn at the respawn point. If I was able to teach you something new, please leave a thumbs up and if you want me to cover a different topic in the future, just write it down in the comments. Alright then, till then, see you next time.